here. Um, she is um, actually a product of Anderson School District 1. Um, she, she gives all of her success, which I'm sure she's going to, in her acceptance speech, I'm sure she's going to say that all of her success is because of her, what grade teacher? Her fourth grade teacher, Mr. Moore, her elementary assistant principal, Miss Jane Harrison, and her high school principal, Robbie Bennett. <laughs> So there, there is, um, Hannah came through our school system, Concrete, Powder, uh, Elementary, Powder Still Middle, and, um, and, and that was well High school math teacher? Okay. <laughs> she was <laughs> in the Basketball coat? <laughs> Diaper changer? <laughs> okay, well you got a room full of people who believe that they, uh, they share this award with you. <laughs> Remember, I signed your check. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah graduated um, from Anderson University with a master's in administration and undergraduate study um, at uh, North Green. A uh, teacher of fourth grade at Powersville Elementary. She's a mentor. She's worked on the South Carolina Department of Education committees. She's a head basketball coach, and did I understand today that y'all won the, the, the region last year? Congratulations. Um, she's a frequent present, presenter of professional development in Anderson One, and I'm going to be honest, Ms. Harrison's pretty picky about who presents professional development. So if Anna is presenting PD in our district, she's got an awful lot of confidence for Ms. Uh, Harrison Moore to do that. Um, she, she clear, she definitely was a concrete cricket. Um, a uh, Powersville, um, Patriot. Liner, okay, Powersville Lion, Powersville Patriot, then a Red Hurricane, right? All right, I got those right, I think. Um, Hannah has outstanding test scores, and you don't do that year in and year out with knowing what you do in the classroom, knowing the, the, the pedagogy on how to teach, but you also got to connect with kids in order, to, in order to make that happen. She believes that an effective teacher is one who is caring and has desire to continually improve. She believes that all students can learn at high levels. She believes in having a positive school culture. She's one of the most important factors in school success. She was instrumental uh, in implementing the house system at Powersville Elementary School, where all students have a sense of belonging and purpose. A quote from him, we have a duty to our students and families to provide the best learning environment and experience for everyone. I just love that. And I love that word, duty. It, it is our duty to, to do that. In the good, the bad, and the ugly, it's our duty to, to, to make that happen. So once again, congratulations, Hannah. Um, and at this point, I'd like to ask uh, her principal, Mr. Moore, for a few words. I do want to thank our board, our district office staff, um, for your support and for also in all this craziness for being willing to uh, provide us with an opportunity to um, support and recognize and honor these wonderful people in this room. Uh, that is a morale booster. It means a whole uh, a lot. I know to our building as well. I know the principal will agree uh, to theirs as well. If I, if I could also say just a, congrat a congratulations to uh, the many of you in this room. Um, we were talking just a few moments ago. There are a lot of things that made Anderson one special, but it's really the people. And there are so many fabulous people in this room. You are the reason why people want to work in Anderson one. You're the reason for our success. And it's always an honor for me to just be in a room like this with people of your quality. So thank you and congratulations. Um, it was special for us at Powersville Elementary School this morning for a variety of reasons. Um, I keep tabs and I can't remember a top three, a teacher from our building in the top three, much less a district teacher of the year. So it's historic in many ways. Uh, but also, yes, I taught Hannah. I can guarantee you she thrived under my mediocre instruction. <laughs> and I want you to know, um, she's just been this way since I met her day one. You're, you're, you're getting the legit, straight up, real Hannah Heath. Every opportunity that you have to experience uh, just being in her presence, this is just who she is. And as I was trying to put together some thoughts to do 
the job that she does and her as an individual just to do that justice i thought the one thing that comes to my mind and what makes her successful and what separates her from many other highly successful individuals in our building is the fact that she is very connected to her purpose and so um, i want to read a quote from john gordon and we did not plan that i know you you can tell we preach a lot of John Gordon at Powersville Elementary School, obviously, but I love it, and this describes Hannah to the T. John Gordon says, we don't get burned out because of what we do. We get burned out because we forget why we do it. Having a vision for your life and knowing where you are going is powerful, but it's even more powerful when you know why you are going there. Purpose is the ultimate fuel that moves you toward your vision. She is fuel in our building, and there is not a day that goes by, and I promise you this, where she's not smiling and upbeat and positive, and that's because she's very connected to her purpose. She knows that she plays a vital role in every student's life that walks in the classroom door each and every day, and no matter how hectic it might be on the outside, inside that classroom, it's loving, it's an incredible environment, they want to be there, and I can't tell you how many um, requests I get from parents to, to put their child in this heats class. And I always have to tell them, I understand why you would want that, but I can't have 142 fourth graders in one class. The district office won't let me do that. Um, but that just speaks volumes about Miss Heath. And I will just uh, conclude my thoughts and tell you, she is wonderful in all areas. She absolutely has some of the best test scores that you'll find. She's part of a planning team that has, um, at least for two or three years now, some of the top three to four percent uh, in the state in terms of math and proficiency in math. You, that's not by accident, as Mr. Vinegar uh, uh, and those have suggested. It's because of hard work. And Hannah mentioned that she uh, coaches basketball, and she's an excellent basketball coach. She won more games in her first season in like the first month than I did in my entire career as a basketball coach, if that tells you anything. Um, but many, many days after basketball, whether it would be coaching uh, in practice or a game, I would walk down an empty hallway, the 300 hallway in Powdersville Elementary School, and there'd be a light on, and it was Hannah Heath. And she didn't do it because I made her, she didn't do it because she felt, you know, like she had to. It was absolutely her duty, and she enjoys it, and she wanted to, and that was because she was connected to her purpose. We do choose one word at Powersville Elementary School. We, we challenge each um, of our faculty and staff to choose one word. And by the way, if you're ever in our building, child, ask them, what's your one word? What are you focused on this year? What are you dedicated to this year? Well, hers this year, I believe, is perseverance. You will have no problem persevering because it's who you are, and it's because you're connected to your purpose. And it has been an honor to work alongside you and support you, and I could not be more proud. Thank you. Oh, again, um, I just want to say thank you for just allowing me to be your district teacher of the year. I don't take this role lightly, and I'm honored to be standing before you today. I look around the room and so many people in this room literally have had a huge impact in my personal life and in my own education. Um, I want to say a special thank you to our superintendent, Mr. Benneker, um, and our assistant superintendent, Ms. Harrison and Dr. Pugh. Um, I also want to thank Ms. Brady and Dr. Estes, Ms. Sheely, and our entire school board um, and, and district office staff for their continued support and commitment for all of us, especially during this time. Um, also, looking around the room, Ms. Sandra Battle and Ms. Patty Ellison and Ms. Amy Battle, they've practically helped raise me since I was little. So when I say I have an invested um, commitment to this community, I really have family here. And you know, also I'll give Coach Young. He's still Coach Young to me, uh, but Dr. Young and Mr. Benneker, they also had an important role. He was Mr. Benneker was my assistant principal at Powersville Middle, and Coach Young taught me. In High school. <laughs> um, sorry, excuse me, I, I do have to read a little bit. Um, like I said before, Anderson is where I grew up and I call it home. Um, like they've mentioned, I attended Concrete where Ms. Harrison was my assistant principal um, and Mr. Moore was my fourth grade teacher. Um, I attended Powersville Elementary the very first year it opened, to, it opened its doors and then went on to Powersville Middle and I graduated from Wren where Mr. Brenneker was my 
principal. So I take pride in our district and I give all the credit to those who paved the way for me to become a teacher. Since this past spring, we have had many ups and downs, questions and concerns, and our district has gone above and beyond for us. I'm grateful for the countless hours of work and planning that's gone into preparing for a safe return. Above all, I know how much our district truly cares for their employees and students because they have been transparent, open, and honest about concerns, decisions, and changes that have been made for this upcoming school year. I know the social and emotional well-being of our students, teachers, faculty, and staff has been at the forefront of their minds, and on behalf of myself and our district, I want to say thank you for that. I know it hasn't been an easy decision or easy process, but I'm proud to work in Anderson 1 and wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Um, if selected as the state teacher of the year, my message has said would focus on the child, and I would encourage others to be as culturally responsive educators and school leaders. Like I said before, teaching is a very noble profession, and it doesn't always get the recognition it deserves. However, like I said, it is very rewarding. If you ask almost any teacher why they went into education, um, I'm willing to bet most of their answers would be because they love to work with kids. Personally, my favorite thing about teaching is building those relationships, which is why the most difficult challenge faced during school shutdowns was missing my students. We teach because we love our students and it's what we're called to do. Everything in education, everything we do, every decision we make, we always have our students' best interests in mind. As educators, we have a duty to our students and their families to provide the best learning environment and experiences for everyone. Our belief should be that all students can achieve at high levels. And if you truly believe this, then it's your responsibility to be a responsive educator who provides equitable and equal opportunities for everyone. I believe every student can learn and should be given those opportunities to succeed. This means advocating for your students, especially when there's difficulty or change, um, and seeing the world through their eyes. It's important to know each student as an individual and where they come from in order to build those trusting relationships and shape their future. We must be our students' champion and provide safe, nurturing environments in which they feel empowered to learn, grow, and succeed. Students come from all backgrounds with different learning styles and levels of home support. Therefore, we need to embrace those student differences and seek ways to provide support. Students are not necessarily given the exact or equal or same instruction, but they should be given fair chances to succeed. We have to have a whatever it takes mentality and be our students' hero. I love our friend Dr. Luis Cruz, his, his favorite quote, some students come to school on third base with all the support they need at home while others are still in the dugout. This analogy has just always been very powerful to me and encourages me to reflect on how I can better equip my students to be successful learners while also educating and encouraging other teachers to do the same. So again, I just wanna say thank you for giving me this opportunity to be District Teacher of the Year. Thank you again to District 1 and our school board and for all your hard work and commitment to our district. I'm honored to serve each and every one of you and look forward to a great year. Thank you.